Now we're recording. There we go. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to uh, the Agricultural Commission, October 15, 2020. Um, I have to read a little ditty because of the COVID stuff going on. So the um, town of Lunenburg, in response to the COVID-19 coronavirus, is currently following the guidance from Lunenburg Board of Health, Massachusetts Department of Public Health, and the CDC regarding the virus and steps communities can take to prevent the spread and all town facilities are currently closed to the public. In accordance with the governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, GLC 30A section 20, all public meetings are being conducted remotely. This meeting, I'm not sure, but it may be broadcast live through local access cable on Facebook live on the public access Facebook page and will be able to be found on the Lunarberg Access YouTube channel within 24 hours after the meeting. The following information, um, I don't think we're being broadcast live um, and I don't think the channel is up, but I haven't been reading this, but if there are people watching and they do want to join, then this would allow them to, so I am going to go ahead and read it. The following information is also provided for members of the public that would like to participate in the meeting remotely. To participate remotely from a computer, please use the link below. To join, the link below. Um, so the https colon back forward slash forward slash us zero two web dot z o o m dot us forward slash j. Now this is ridiculous. Nobody's going to do this. Um, <laughs> so. Here we are. We've opened our meeting. Um, it is uh, 7.05 right now, a couple minutes ago. Um, and I'll have to take a roll call um, attendance to see who's here um, and that we can hear everybody um, and make sure everybody's accounted for. We have no new participants. Okay, ask all to unmute. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, so, uh, Ryan Stober? Here. Uh, Jorge, I haven't seen logged on yet. Uh, Greg, I haven't seen. Mary Ray Holman? Here. Okay. Um, so, that's the three members. Uh, Kira, I don't believe, is on yet. And Stephanie Schofield? Here. Excellent. All right. It is just five of us, and one of them is the ledger. So we've opened our meeting. We've got three people. We've got three members and an alternate. So we have called to order. Is there public comment or open discussion? Um, I'm going to mention that Kira, Kira uh, just got her rehabilitator's wildlife rehabilitator license. So I'm, I'm hoping that she'll join us and tell us a little bit about it. Um, so review and approve minutes. Um, I don't have them ready. I think that August 27th are finished, uh, but I haven't distributed them yet. Uh, so I really need to get this going. Um, and then also I need to sit with Jorge and, and um, we'll probably do them together for a couple of times. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so there's no minutes to approve. Um, our new business, the Lunenburg Community Farmers Market Report uh, neither manager is on with us right now, but the market is done. We had our last market last Sunday. It was a great turnout. There was 22, 22 vendors, and we had a whole lot of people come. It felt like it was very busy compared to your typical Sunday. Um, don't know what to attribute it to. So if they join us later, they can fill us in on anything that I missed, which is probably most everything. Um, Economic Development Committee applicant discuss and recommend. Has anybody had opportunity to speak with any local agricultural business owners? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but we've got... Um, we got a negative response from conservation. Uh, open space, I believe, um, they, I don't believe they 
uh, made the recommendation yet, but I think they've got somebody in mind. So that would be good. That would get three members there and they could start meeting. Um, review and approve flyer to advertise and promote the Agricultural Commission. That is our third order of new business. Um, I have not been able to put anything together. Uh, I just barely was able to finish that letter and I sent it out about uh, half an hour ago to everybody's town email. Um, and I highlighted what I had changed or what I had added. The, um, so we had talked last meeting about putting together a, a flyer of some sort. Um, and I don't know if anybody has any ideas or suggestions or um, anything. Um, what would actually, like, what's our target audience? Our target? Go ahead. Go ahead, Mary. I would kind of say anyone, residents and potential residents of the town. Like, could we, I was in the town hall Monday, could we put, could we put it there? Yeah. And then, like, we could, I would be willing to put um, them in the store. And then I don't know if any other, like, the farmer's market would be a perfect place to have them, too, when that's in season. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But if you, if you guys, because I kind of have some thoughts, and then I was... Just need to get around to putting them into I don't know how the best way to do it probably like maybe like a PowerPoint maybe but I was thinking like a trifold brochure type of thing but I don't know if you guys have any ideas right now I'll jot them down and then include them in like a little rough draft thing and then same thing with the letter we can just keep chipping away at, at it until we like it and then go from there Okay. Sounds good. So we can, um, you guys are free to send anything to me at any time and I can put it together and distribute it pre prior to a meeting. Uh, so that would, that would alleviate us having to worry about open meeting law. Um, so if, if you guys anytime have something you want, uh, on the agenda or uh, distributed, go ahead and send it to me and I can send it off. Ryan, do you have any, uh, like I was thinking map, the farms, the bylaw. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have anything to add to it? I was thinking like some kind of like catchy, not catchy, but some kind of, like what, what would be the header? I don't, I'm trying to get a hold of some of the other, I might possibly email, because I know on the, um, drawing a blank, but the Mass Farm, uh, Mass Agricultural Commission, like the entire one, I know they have like their minutes and everything of like of towns that actually did one. So I can look through that, see what towns have them and then possibly email the contact for that commission and figure out if they wouldn't mind sending it or mailing it if they don't have it on the computer and we could take a look at theirs and what they put. Maybe we could get a few of them. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <clears throat> Sounds good. All right. Anything more on the uh, the flyer? What uh, what is like like if if we like talk if we go to Mary Ray's store and like talk like like the three of us is that considered some kind of open meeting violation? Um, I, I I'm pretty sure it depends on what we talk about. If if we got together, so that was something I wanted to bring up, but I wanted everybody to be involved is that we can break off into groups of two and work on projects. Um, I know a lot of other groups have done that. Uh, Sewer Commission, I'm thinking of specifically back in the day, had, had done a lot, gotten a lot done that way. Um, okay. So two people can. Um, yeah. There's no reason like you and I could meet one day, Matt, and the next week, Ryan and I meet, right? Uh, no, that's, that's technically not allowed. 
Yeah. But it, like, there has to be something like sharing ideas. Like, we're not formulating laws or like, or bylaws. Like, like, there has to be some discussion. Can we have like discussion prior to a meeting? Is that, is there some kind of legality behind that or? Um, well, what I, what I will recommend is that you guys look at the open meeting law and, and review it. Uh, as far as I can tell, we're not supposed to do that. Um, and, it, and it's been, it's been a contention ever since the AGCOM was a thing because that's what we do. We get together and talk and now that we're, now that we're appointed officials, <laughs> um, we're kind of limited in that regard. Um, yeah, I can. I can always. I can. Always, I, I can always go to the store and see her, and we can ponder some ideas and stuff, and then um, go from there. I was there yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no reason that we can't run into each other. I mean, there, there's no yeah. avoid. You know, especially especially with, with with buying things from somebody who works there and man and whatever. It's just we're not supposed to talk about stuff that's on our agenda collectively. Okay. Okay. Very unfortunate. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. Um, so any any other thoughts and ideas on the uh, flyer? No, we'll have to we'll have to think about it. <clears throat> like, it'd be nice to have like a picture on there too, or something, some kind of graphic, some kind of nice something farm related. Yeah. 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 We can even do like in the past, like I am the admin for the uh, Lunenburg um, horse community page on Facebook, and like we'll have little contests for like the. There's no profile picture, but like the background picture in the group and we'll each post like a theme, like say we want a new picture for fall and then we'll each post a picture of our farm and horses or whatever. And then whoever gets the most likes wins. And then that, like it almost could be if we had a way to, we don't, but which runs back to the social media thing. But if we did, we could just post like each farm could post a picture that they liked the most. And then whoever got the most likes from the community could be in the in the brochure or whatever. Hmm. All right. Well, actually, the social media is actually the last uh, new business agenda item. Um, I have not taken opportunity. Uh, Town Council has office hours, uh, I believe, the 28th of this month. Um, I'm not sure that I'll be able to uh, arrange any time for that but that would be a good place to start um, finding out what we actually are allowed or able to do. So um, I, I, I talked to uh, Jerry Kristoff. He runs the Friends of Rutland. And he, he talked to his legal and he said, that's why it's called Friends of the Rutland Agricultural Commission. He goes, you can't, you can't really talk business, but it, he, does, he just does the farm promoting. You he know, does. Like, he, he does like the farm, he'll do like a special farm promote, like he'll drive by one of the farm stands, take a picture of it. Yep. You know, and he also said, when you post pictures during COVID, make sure people, you know, you know, you are, are hearing so you don't get some backlash. I'm like, hey, they don't have masks. And you just gotta, he's like, you gotta watch out because he goes, people are out there like, oh, whoa, they're not adhering. But, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, he just said, he goes, you have to put you just can't put Lunenburg Ag because then then it's like speaking on behalf of the group. But if you just put friends of the Lunenburg Agricultural Commission or some kind of twist on it, then other people can post some things and um, you know, you you can highlight like a farm a week and if they're having special offers or if someone's doing like fall hay rides or sleigh rides or whatever. That's what he does, and, and he hasn't had any opposition to it. Okay. I think I have to do that, like, um, support it, or I don't know, what to think of it. No, and that's, that's not like a nonprofit. That's just. No, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just run by like, 
I, think, I know it's Jerry Kristoff is the the head. Uh, I think he's the chair of the Ad Common Run. And he does the Facebook page. Yeah, so he, he does. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I sent I sent him the message. But you know, they just uh, they share a lot of like farm videos, like a lot of tons of Facebook farm stuff. Um, like fall harvest, they're showing some pictures of like the farmers chopping silage and you know just in their field. It's kind of they, they use it for like an educational kind of thing. A lot of people, like I'm sure Lindenberg would, like, hey, what's going on? Like, what's that used for? I mean, I remember, I still remember, I remember seeing people picking uh, seed corn for cows and they think it's sweet corn. They're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff. I'm like, it's not gonna taste good. That is cow corn. <laughs> like what, they're like, what's the difference? I'm like, you boil it and let me know how it tastes. <laughs> Very good. It, it'd be it'd be cool to have something like that, you know. Um, I don't know what you do about like public con. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody, if you show a picture of a dairy farm, some kind of you know, pita type comments, it's like you you kind of gotta keep it 100 percent positive. I don't know if you can like review comments or something. I don't know how that would. Yeah, work. you can. You can always delete people's comments and stuff like that. Whoever is in charge of the page would just have to be on top of it, kind of thing. And like with the farmer directory page, I don't post as much like informational stuff like you're talking about, which would be cool. Um, like I'll just share the farms like posts or whatever. Um, like Steve Parker posted today about what he had in his stand. So I shared it for that. Just in case there's people that follow the farmer directory page that don't follow him kind of a thing. And then um, I haven't had any backlash, but I'm not posting things that might really cause it in a way. Yeah, I, I think more of like the pictures of animals, you probably gotta yeah. watch out, you know. You can use an ability to restrict comments on a page and it has to be approved by an admin before it can be posted so it's just okay. all in how you set the privacy settings yeah we um, do. but then whoever would get an alert and they'd have to approve the comment or the post that's a good idea too thanks yeah i like that because i don't want to like if we ever did it i don't think we should take off the commentary because I think that could be a good thing and people might ask questions that other people are thinking kind of thing mm -hmm. that might see it you know what I mean yeah. like I saw on the the farm stand um across from Jacob's old you know the the Stillman property that was for sale okay somebody had like a big vegetable produce stand out there today out of the tent like who's that yeah <laughs> I, well, I thought it, I could be wrong, but I thought it was still them just trucking it from where they're out in Western Mass. But they, they like, Sundays I'd close the store at 2, and they were there, and they would do, I don't know if it's their farm shares or what, but they were distributing a lot of stuff. But now, recently, they've actually been setting up to sell stuff. Yeah, it's like a full, legit farm yeah. stand. Yeah. Yeah, no name, no banner, so I don't know. No. Yeah. Okay, well, stuff to think about. Um, yeah. Excellent. Well, that was great input. Um, and then we've got all the other things that just keep hanging around. Uh, I did. I did take a few things off the ongoing. Um, so. <clears throat> CP building design committee, community gardens, farm inspections, agcom swag, <laughs> public market, bylaws, farm size reference, um, agcom holding land, and the map of Lunenburg farms. Is there is there a uh, when is is there a fall time meeting of the whole map? Agcom, what isn't there like a couple times a year, like with PNL? Does it? Um, there's the MAAC, the Ma it. Mass Association of Agricultural Commissions. Um, I'm pretty sure that's in February, 
They they do an oh. annual. Okay. Yeah. And you went to it last year, right? I uh, went to the last couple of years. Yeah, they had it in Groton two years ago, and they had it in Marlboro last year. Okay, uh, what about cool. that? Say the three of us wanted to go. We have to sit at different tables. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that is, I don't know how that would work. I really don't maybe, think. Uh, maybe it would be different where it's like an actual event type of thing that includes, I don't know. Well, they actually, they actually, they typically will have like seminars, like uh, speakers, and then they'll have, they'll have an actual meeting. And, wow. um, and, and it's good because the individuals that go can vote or, or make comments on the things that they're, they're dealing with. So that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I wouldn't see a problem with us all going to that. I mean, it's part of what we do. <clears throat> On a weekday too, right? It's usually like on a Wednesday or something. I, I don't think so. I thought it was. I thought it was like Saturday or something. Hmm. But I, I misspoke. Yeah. That was February of this year that it was in Marlboro and Groton last year. So it's coming okay. up again. It's coming up again in February. Um, and I hope. I hope it's coming up in February. Who knows with this with this stuff going on? Yeah. <laughs> um, I still haven't had any word on any possible getting together person face to face yet. No. No. Uh, that it's been it's been suggested that you could have an open meeting outside under a tent. <laughs> As long as it's accessible and, and to the public and, and handicap accessible and whatnot, but uh, I don't know anybody that's done it yet. Yeah, crazy. All right, so we are at the end of our list. Public comment, open discussion. Well, I guess we'll have to wait till next time to hear about Kira's new permit. Um, yeah, maybe we'll get the uh, maybe we'll get like the market. Maybe we'll get like the market report uh, next month. <laughs> yeah, there were some questions about when we were going to start working on next year's market, and. Um, I think everybody is really, really busy and, and everything's so frantic right now that uh, there wasn't much interest in it. So um, it will, we'll, that'll come up soon too. Um, all right, so. Yeah. That was a short meeting. 726. Um, all right. So the next third Thursday is November 19th. Should we uh, send a reminder out prior to the third Thursday? I know it's been the third Thursday, but you send like a blast email out reminding all the people to attend. Sure. Yep. Um, I did notice that, um, well, again, I sent, I sent the, uh, the revised letter that we approved the last meeting. Uh, I sent that just before this, we started the meeting tonight uh, to everybody's town email. And, and I did notice that Greg doesn't, still doesn't have a town email. <laughs> um, so we can, certainly, we can certainly reach out as a friendly reminder. Um, however, we need to do that. So... So there we have it, November nineteenth. I think uh, I think town meeting is the seventeenth, isn't it? Tuesday. At night. I think the fall town meeting is 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 uh, the seventeenth. Not positive. Um, let me see. Participate. Okay. So I've asked everybody to unmute again. Um, 
just to make sure that nobody doesn't doesn't get missed. All right, so that's our next meeting, November 19th. And um, if there's nothing else, then I would accept a motion to adjourn. I'll do a motion to adjourn. Okay, is there a second? A second. Excellent. Um, and um, now I have to do all in favor, roll call. Um, Ryan. Aye. Mary Ray. Aye. And I don't think Stephanie needs to vote. I'm going to have to clarify that. St Stephanie, do you mind adjourning? <laughs> Aye. Okay, very good. Um, well, thank you for the very short and uh, pleasant meeting. Yeah. All right. Everybody have a great Bye. night. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.